In 30 days, they have completely destroyed a fucking business that, that was viable 30 days ago. Completely destroyed it over greed. That's where we are. I was in New York yesterday and we released the news. Abu Dhabi 2020 World Championship, big deal. Being out in the desert, camels, falcons. We're going to the fourth element, the sand. Now today we are in Denver and we are releasing a brand new initiative for Spartan called DECA, D-E-K-A. It's the original spelling of decathlon. It's gonna be 10 events. We're having a big dinner tomorrow night, 600 people invited, the launch of a brand new product. All right, you got two minutes? Five and 10 million in cash to, to get this thing back on its feet. I think it's important though to go out and like what you do is you visit these communities around the world and you get an idea of what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. Where... I, oh, I, I don't know if you know this, I moved my family to build, um, to build out Asia and Western Canada. I moved the whole family. We lived in Tokyo for a year, we lived in Singapore for a year, and then we lived in Vancouver for a year. Absolutely epic three That's years. That's amazing that you're able to do that too. Well, everybody's able to do anything they that's want. True. They just got to do it. Yeah. Um, and that's the hardest part is pulling the trigger. Pull the trigger. And so, as you, as you age, what you find out is that you don't want to pull the trigger because you're driven almost by fear. Oh, oh I pull the trigger. I, <laughs> I, my trigger has not slowed down. I just keep pulling the trigger. <laughs> I have a machine gun. <laughs> hey. All right, we got Erica here. Erica worked for Spartan. Then she had enough, she was exhausted, so I let her go to school for a month. She was um, just about to take her final test. I said, what are you doing? She said, I'm about to go in for my finals. I said, great, um, call me tomorrow because I need you in Colorado. <laughs> and here we are. And here we are. We got Yancey Kalt, we got Jared Cogsville. Did I say that right? Yancey started this insanity. He called me up, he said, we gotta have a different kind of event. I said, okay, you got till Friday. <laughs> so here we are. Is this going to be the fastest startup in the history of startups? I know. I know. <laughs> this, is, this is called Fire Ready Aim. Fire Ready Aim. We shot the gun, we're getting ready, and now we're aiming. I feel like as a company, the number one problem all day, every day is selling tickets. We always could pull off the event somehow. Thanks to guys like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. so, so 24 seven, it's selling tickets. And what ends up happening when we have 500 people globally, when I'm on conference calls with the whole company, everybody's talking about, oh, the legal thing and this thing and trailers. And I'm like, it doesn't fucking matter if I don't have people at the event. 2019, Tough Mudder goes into a process, which means for those of you that don't understand banking, that it's gonna be sold, and they put it out to bid. We put in a bid as Spartan. We won the bidding process. We had the best bid. We put in the bid, we signed the papers, Tough Mudder signed the papers. During the process, we find out they owe 40 million, they have $40 million in debt. 32 million of which is a big bank called Global Payments. Anyway, we go sit down with Global Payments, we structure a deal, fine. They're gonna give us terms on the debt. The whole thing is done, we gotta be done by year end. The lawyers get in there, do due diligence. I go on my vacation to um, tell you tell your ride. The founders, the founders, who are basically have no value anymore in this thing because they owe $40 million. In the sale, in other words, they're not gonna get anything. They're gonna get $500,000 each. They decide, two weeks before closing, that they're gonna hold up the sale and demand from the creditor that the creditor pays them $22 million each 
each in order to go through with the sale. In order they to sign. move forward. In order to move forward. Creditor says fuck you. They say fuck you back. Creditor says great. Here's a demand notice. You got you got a week to pay us thirty two million dollars. Oh, and we're shutting your registration platform off. Oh, and now you can't make payroll. Founders say go fuck yourself. We don't care. I'm in the middle of this whole thing. In 30 days, they have completely destroyed a fucking business that, that was viable 30 days ago. Completely destroyed it over greed. That's where we are. I just disconnected from the world for 45 minutes in a hot room and it gave me my life back. Now I have 20 phone calls, 50 messages, and 200 emails to deal with. All right, we're on the road, Spartans. I'm at a Whole Foods, and I am in Denver after Abu Dhabi, New York, and Boston. And our focus here in Denver is the launch of DECA, D-E-K-A. Deca.fit. I want you guys to follow it, check it out, because we're gonna be picking some followers. I'm gonna give away some merch. Day two, we are in Denver. It is early morning, 5 a.m. We gotta do another Bikram class today. I gotta deal with the um, my kids back home trying to cut weight. Give them a handful of pistachios, both of them. A little bit of water, tell them to go to school, toughen it out. My kids are driving my wife nuts. I have a big math test and I'm not going to be able to think clearly. I haven't eaten in two days. It's like I'm not going to let them go to school. And I'm like, life doesn't stop. When time, what happens in Africa when kids don't have food for a month? She's like, they go to school and they walk into the nurse's office and say, I haven't eaten in two days. We're going to get arrested. <laughs> little OCR gym in the middle of nowhere on the outskirts of Denver and it's awesome I can't run to father I can't talk to you mother I know it's got you caught up But your sweet sinless sensation is not my style It's all fun and games until the med balls come out <laughs> But tell me if I run I agree. Uh, by the way, we tried in August, we tried in June, we tried in January, like we would walk away, right? We should have walked away 10 days ago, 20 days ago. But, but at some point we have to because there's nothing left to save. What's happened? I just got to CrossFit Colfax. Why don't you come down here and we can get the 30 minute hen show workout in. Boom, I'm, I'll do that right now. Hurry up, let's go. Workout number two, baby. What do we do as Spartan? I know what you do, what do we do? We, we put a date on the calendar. If there's not a date on the calendar, right? They're, they might not join a gym. They might not go, even if they join, they might not go. Once a date's on the calendar, you're accountable. Yeah, I mean, and we, have, we set specific comps here so that we have something to work for. Because if you're just coming in day after day, of course you get a lot of benefit out of that, but there's no, there's no motivation and you lose that. Human beings need that motivation, and a race, an event, is one of the best motivators. So we are in Denver, Colorado at CrossFit Colfax. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take Joe through a CrossFit style Pinshaw workout. So the workout is five rounds, every minute on the minute, you are going to complete your number of reps that you, you wrote down during the warm-up. So they're going to complete round one, 
in whatever finishing time that they want to attack. They're deciding their level of intensity. Their job in round two, three, and four is to match that same finishing time plus or minus one second. That final round, they could go as fast as they can because they can lay on the ground and recover afterwards. What we want to use that final round for is to determine whether or not their first round was attacked with enough intensity or too much intensity. In many cases, people that don't know how to pace, they take it out fast in the beginning and they die. And that's not how to maximize performance. Yeah, that was smart. Chris uh, is one of the top trainers in the country. He trains uh, the top CrossFit athletes. And so he was, he was dying to get me on the mat. And um, he chose the right exercise for me. I mean, everybody knows I love burpees. So very interesting to see him break down the burpee into uh, those micro movements. And although it looked uh, silly and simple, uh, it's actually pretty tough. You gotta understand, my mother, my mother taught yoga, right? So she, I lived around yoga my whole life, and um, I fought it. I thought it was too soft, too bohemian, too hippie-ish, and, and then I did it. My late 20s, I started to do it a lot, and I was like, oh my God, everything I thought about yoga was wrong. Um, it is a recovery system, of all recovery systems. I mean, at the end of the day, what do you care about? When you're 75, do you really want biceps? No, you want flexibility and mobility. That's the core of yoga, flexibility and mobility. And if you do hot yoga, your largest organ, your skin, it's like going to a car wash. I mean, I feel like a brand new person right now. We are here for Spartan Up Podcast. I'm in Denver and I am with a gentleman named C.T. Fletcher. Did I get that right? You sure did. If you don't know him, you've been living under a rock. This guy has got a superpower and it's called motivation. <laughs> he motivates people all over the world, got millions of followers, and, uh, and he's extremely humble in the few minutes I know him. Um, I waited my whole life to hear my dad say, I'm sorry. Right. Or I, you know, I wish I hadn't done that to you. I wish I didn't mean, and I wasn't gonna get that. He's 86 years old, and he had to say, get, so look, it. look, Dad, I might not make it, but I want to tell you that I'm sorry. Right. And would you please forgive me? It's powerful. Hard. Man. If everybody could do that, if everybody could do that, including me, I mean, that's a, that changes the world. Dude, it, it, it changes the world. Like, it right? changed me. I want to change 100 million lives. And to change 100 million lives, I said, we got to get closer to the urban center and we got to do something that feels more like the gym because not everybody wants to climb a mountain carrying a sandbag crawling on the barbed wire. So we're going to create this thing called DECA. Mm -hmm. It's going to be 10 stations. In between each station is a 500 meter run and then you go do a station. Station could be a farmer carry or it could be a medicine ball lift. You'll see the stations yeah. tonight. And this is going to be our first event in Denver of this new brand called DECA. It's going to be held at the Bronco Training Center, Broncos Training Center. And, um, and my plan is to do a dinner 60 days before each event around when we do it. Try to get five or 600 people together at dinner, inspire them and say, hey, I can't change 100 million lives myself. I need you, we need to work together. You gotta go rip five, 10 people off the couch and get them out here. Not because I'm looking to make more money, but because when they sign up for something like this, it changes their life. It will. You got to have a date on the calendar with something hard, like you had the world championship. Yep. That made you work harder in the gym. There's no world championship, right? You're not working as hard. That's correct. So with DecaFit, everyone is and can be an athlete. I did a workout in the morning. It was mid-December, December what? December 9th. You hit me up about something. You said, I'm about to graduate. I you're taking a PR. What, what are you doing? I was taking my She's taking her final exam, she's graduating. I said, I got this idea. I think we're gonna call it DECA. I wanna launch the first race by February. She took her exam 
and here we are, we're having dinner. So it's a testament to Erica and the whole team. So again, one more round of applause because because it's only been it's only been eight weeks. You know, in business, the whole thing is the people. I think Spartan's lucky because we've got the ability to focus on the mission, which is to change 100 million lives. So everybody gets pretty pumped up about that. You know, no matter what's going wrong, they're, they're in the end, a lot a lot goes wrong in business. Um, I think everybody remembers. You know what? We're doing something great here. We're doing God's work. So. It is awesome to uh, see people transform in front of you, receive the emails, get the phone calls. It's nice. I gotta tell you, I am so impressed with our team. Erica got up there, she spoke like a pro. The team crushed it. The speakers were incredible. We have officially launched DECA. Look at this place. Look at this place. Denver Broncos, jokingly, I don't know, maybe half jokingly, said the winning male at this event on March 21 is going to be able to go as a walk-on for Denver Broncos. So that's big. Coming NFL player. I'm psyched. Tell me